Now let us discuss the electric field due to a dipole on the axle. A dipole basically means two equal and opposite charges. Let's say there is minus Q charge in here and plus Q charge in here. These two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance. This distance is usually taken as 2A. 2A that is A double of A unit A. Let this point be A and let this point be B. Now let us assume O be the center of the dipole. Then if this whole length is 2A, then this length will be A and this length will be A. It is usually taken as multiple of uh, double the value of A. Clear the distance between the dipole, uh, distance between the charges. So these constitute a dipole. And we are interested in finding the electric field on an axial line. Axial line means if you extend this line AB, something like this, then this, this, this is an axial line. Suppose if I mark a point P in here, we can say that P is a point on the axial line. Now, we need to find the net electric field at the point P. For that, let us consider E plus Q be the electric field due to this positive charge. And it will be directed away from the point you know the post electric field of a positive charge is radially outward away from the positive charge so this is the direction of e plus q and let e minus q represent the electric field at point p due to minus q and as you know for a negative charge this for a negative charge electric field is radially inward for a positive charge it is radially outward so the direction of electric field at P due to minus Q will be in this direction. Clear. Now we have the expression of electric field is E equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q divided by R square. Which means if R is less electric field will be greater. That is inversely proportional to the electric field. And from the figure itself, it is clear that plus Q is close to the point P, which means E of plus Q is greater than, I will write it here, electric field due to plus charge is greater than electric field at, due to minus charge at the point P. Now, we have the net electric field if two forces or, or if two vectors are in opposite direction, then the net electric field or you can say E axial. E axial is the net electric field. The greater one that is E plus Q minus the smaller one E minus Q. And as, let us take the distance of the point O and P, B, R. Clear. Now you have E plus Q, this one equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by the distance of the positive charge from the point p is bp so you can write bp square minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 since you have the direction we already took the direction now you don't have to take the charge as minus q just take that as q q by uh, the distance of the minus q from p will be a p square clear suppose if you have a 10 newton force in the right direction and a minus 4 newton in the left direction you can take that net force f net is equal to 10 minus 4 now you don't have to take the minus sign okay just greater minus lesser okay so you don't have to take this minus magnitude of this minus. So you don't have to write a minus Q, just Q, okay. Now, so what is the value of BP? Now we have BP is equal to, BP will be, it will be R minus A. Up to this distance, it, 
the distance OB is OB is A. Also AO is also A. So BP means BP means OP minus OB. OP minus OB that is equal to R minus A. Similarly, AP will be AP it is A OP plus OA. OP plus OA that is equal to R plus A. And you can plug in these two values in here. Before that, you can take the value of Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 outside since that is common. 1 by BP equal to R minus A whole square minus uh, 1 by AP means R plus A whole square. And if you cross multiply this Q by 4 pi epsilon 0, this is equal to R plus A whole square minus R minus A whole square divided by R minus A whole square into R plus A whole square. Clear. Yeah. Now we need to simplify this equation. So this will be E axial is equal to 1 Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0. Expanding this you will get R square plus 2 A R plus A square minus I'll erase this minus put a bracket this will be R square minus 2 A R plus R square divided by this can be written as R minus A into R plus A whole square. So this will be Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 R square plus 2 A R plus A square minus R square plus 2 A R minus a square divided by r minus a into r plus a is equal to r square minus a square outside you have a square you can cancel this one also this one so the final expression will be q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 2ar plus 2ar is 4ar divided by r square minus a square whole square. This can also be written as 2 times this 4 can be split into 2 into 2. So q into 2a r divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square minus a square whole square. Clear. But you know electric dipole or dipole moment means not electric dipole dipole moment we have a dipole moment is equal to one of the charge if this is a dipole minus q and plus q and the, if the separation is 2a then dipole moment means one of the charge q into distance between the charge so this Q times 2A is dipole moment. So E axial is equal to, you can write this as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. You just write this 2, 2. Then this is dipole moment, moment 2 PR divided by R square minus A square whole square. So this is the magnitude of the uh, electric net electric field at a point on the axial line now we have to write this in the vector form you know dipole the direction of the dipole moment is from minus q to plus q so it is in this direction the direction of dipole moment clear and you know the net electric here e plus q is greater so the net electric field is in this direction e axial Clearly, the direction of axial net electric field in the axial direction 
and dipole moment is the same. You can write this as you write E axial. Now you have to put the vector sign equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 p r divided by r square minus a square whole square times p cap. p cap means p is a unit vector in the direction of the dipole moment. Clear. So this is the vector expression of electric field along the axial line. Now what happens? What is the case if the distance between the dipole with charges that is a or the distance r is very much greater than a in this case you can take a approximately equal to zero then you will have e axial equal to substituting here 1 by 4 by epsilon zero 2 p r divided by r square minus 0 square whole raised to whole square. So this is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 pi r by r raised to 4 and you can cancel one of the r it will be r cube. So E axial equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 p divided by r cube. Clear. And in the vector form it will be like this E axial E axial is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 p divided by r cube times p cap. Clear. This this is the case of this dipole is also called for a dipole if r is very much greater than a this dipole is called a short dipole short dipole so this is the net electric field in on the axial line of a short dipole clear